all of the planks and the boards are ripped and cut to length. It takes just a couple of minutes to actually assemble this project. It's Good afternoon, folks. I'm out in the shed today, and I am putting together some seedling flats. We have seedlings growing in the basement. It's about time to bump them up, and I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of seedling flats to make that process go easy. These are pretty easy to build. They do require a few tools, and I wanted to go over that and show you the process and explain how it's done. All right, first off, we're going to need a one by board, and I bought a eight inch one by eight by eight feet long. And we're going to rip it into boards two and three quarter inches wide, and then we're going to cut it to length at 17 and a half inches. Each seedling flat needs two of those boards. And these planks here on the sides and the five on the bottom, all of the staples, or if you're using a nail, will go through the plank and into that one by board. Uh, let me back up a little bit. These planks, and that's what it says on the label, that's why I'm calling it a plank. It's a tongue and groove, and I believe that they use these in closets or uh, as an accent wool, wherever. They come in a six pack and they're $18 and about 50 cents per six pack. And that six pack you can make with the one by eight board, you can make four seedling trays. You need to rip two of the six to a width of two and three quarter inches and cut to a length of 18 inches and those are going to be used for the sides of your seedling flat. These five here are ripped from the remaining four out of your pack. And I have a picture of the SKU number. I will post that up here for you to see and try and remember to put it in the description. But you rip the last four to a width of three and one eighth inch and you cut those to 18 inches as well. And you'll notice the spacing here on all these it's actually 5 16 of an inch. How I'm getting that 5 16 of an inch is I'm taking the pieces that are ripped off of the plank and I'm using them as a spacer just like so. So I get this set up I take my 3 and 1 8 inch planks that are cut to 18 inches put them on the box use my scrap as a spacer get everything ready and I'm using a pneumatic stapler but you can also use if you don't have one of these you can use small little nails kind of like a brad and just put a nail in here three per plank and it's going to go through the plank and into that one by board that's underneath pretty easy Start to finish this project, I'm going to have just a little bit more than an hour in it. It's not a hard project at all. As always, if you have any questions about this or Mitlider gardening in general, you can leave a comment in the comment section below, or you can find us on the Mitlider gardening Facebook group and ask the question there. We've got a large group of people. There's a lot of folks that use a Mitlider garden, and we should be able to get your questions answered. As always, thanks for watching.